That is on. You need to start recording, right? Yep. I am. Yeah, no, I'm recording all of this, dude. <laughs> record you vlogging in. I'm over here smacking my food. I help it, y'all. No, I'm just gonna have to get over it for a second. All right, so I'm about to sign in on uh, Ancestry to see um, what my ethnicity is. Um, I obviously, my whole life, uh, as far as I've known, um, I mean, just black. I mean, I know my, you know. I was told my grandmother has a uh, Jamaican ancestry and my grandfather has some uh, indigenous ancestry, but you know, it's mainly, you know, black. I know, you know, he's from the South. So, you know, always wondered, but never really knew. <laughs> so, you know, obviously decided to take this test to see what was going on and, you know, obviously connect, you know, uh, the group that I'm in, uh, Minority Alliance Organization, we've, uh, you know, really pushed, you know, an agenda like this of finding out what your actual heritage is, uh, because it connects you in a different way to not only where you're from, you know, culturalistically, you know, and personally, you know, but on that deep personal level, it, it connects you and it makes you belong and it gives you a place where you know you belong and it's no longer a guessing game it's no longer just so what you think it is you, you actually know so um i wanted to get a shot taking this myself um last chance <laughs> for my wife to take a bet and see what you think i am what do you think i am mm. i don't know now <laughs> you got European, some form of European. Um, you're in. I want to say Indigenous America's North. Definitely got some island in you somewhere. Um, Islander. <laughs> yeah. Um, hmm. Okay. Well, it's time for the guess in the end. Um, it's time to find out. So. Let me log in here, see what we see. Here we go. All right. Take a second to yourself. Hmm. I'm African. I'm mostly African. Forty percent Nigeria. Yeah! <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> wow. 40% Nigeria, 25% Cameroon, Congo, 11% Benin and Togo, 6% Ivory Coast, 4% German. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> Whoops, I'm sorry. <laughs> 4% German, 4% Ireland, 3% Mali, 3% England, 2% Scotland, 1% Indigenous American North, 1% Malta, so that's Middle Eastern, or, yeah, it's Middle Eastern. They're Middle Eastern? Wow. 1%. My babe's Nigerian like me. <laughs> yeah. Forty percent. Twenty-five percent Cameroon and Congo. Benin and Togo 
11%, 6% Ivory Coast, so that's 65, 70, 82% African. Anything on there from Jamaica, if you guys thought? No island at all. Unless you consider Ireland and Scotland. My island. <laughs> Early settlers? Are you in that community too? Hmm? Are you in that community too? Um, let me see. Should be at the bottom of yeah, your results. Yeah. What year? Right around 1700. Yeah, same thing with my family. Yeah. So we are both descendants, descendants. of slaves. Yeah. Taken from the west coast of Africa. Brought to Virginia. Very tight circle around Virginia in a Richmond area. And for me, <clears throat> you know, just growing up knowing that, you know, my grandmother was a slave and her family was, to actually just hear it and then actually have, you know, proof, it's just two different things and it, I don't know, it just really touches home <laughs> deeply. It does. It does. There's one thing to... Can't hear you over here. There's one thing to know it and read about it, but to, to physically see it, to see that tight little circle right there on the coast of Virginia. So you're only in the Virginia area? You don't have anywhere else? No, my, uh, the indigenous... American North is like Northern America, Northern United States and Canada, actually. So then that means your Native American tribes come from them two areas. Yeah. Northern, One from each. Northern U.S., Canada. Yep. And then we click on Nigeria. Let's see. The babe's Nigerian like me. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm such a dork. <laughs> Such, I mean, yeah, it's um, it's right there, and again, it's tight, tight circle. So, hey, we get to learn the Nigerian culture together, though, and that's the cool part because we're both descendants from there. And well, it's no longer the Nigerian culture, is it? It's our culture. We still haven't gotten used to doing that yet, you know, and then, you know. It still takes a little work. You're a Nigerian American. Right. <laughs> You're so cool, ain't it? Did you did you feel your ancestors like exhale when you opened those results? Did you feel something? Yeah, I did. I felt. I don't know. I don't even know what it is. What are you thinking? <sighs> it's a lot to take in. <laughs> <laughs> it is. I don't. I don't know. It, Honestly, I, I, I don't, it took me like maybe 10, 15 minutes to start crying when I open mine, because it's like. I'm no longer under an umbrella term anymore. I know now who I am and who my people are and where we come from and to be able to know that I can now start learning my cultures that my people were robbed from for so long and can give this to the grandbabies now and it's just beautiful. Yeah. 
I mean, to be able to have these things um, answer so you can know and be able to actually pass those things on and be able to look and, and see and have something to point to, you know, it, it's important <clears throat> not just for myself personally to know this, but for you know my whole family like we we get a chance to kind of look and, and be able to trace because we all you know we we have a linked um we have a linked past and now we have a window into that past we have a window to you know what what we come from where we come from and who we are and not just as an american or just as an african american but what you know what are what you know where do you come from you know um honestly i have this like <laughs> overwhelming feeling like i want to visit like my home yeah and also um <clears throat> to be able to pass this on to our son and our grandchildren or you know his children and you know it's amazing to be able to do that yeah. Yeah. 